today we're going to start with some general van maintenance. With the new vehicle, it's always nice to start with a clean slate and change fluids and filters. So today we are going to start with an oil change. We're going to drain the oil here. You'll need a 13 millimeter socket or 13 millimeter wrench. And uh, Gonna squirt out of there pretty good. We'll make sure your pan's far enough back. There's a copper gasket. Make sure you don't lose that. Drop it in your pan. All right, then you want to, once you've got it draining, you want to loosen up this oil fill so that uh, it can get air in <clears throat> and let that finish draining. And it will pull the uh, oil filter out. Okay, the oil filter is down here. It's an element type. You just take the cap off and change the element. We are going to remove this induction tube out of here to make it a little easier to get in. And here you can see the, the round top. Alright, this element pops out of the cap like that. And uh, okay, you've got a, an O ring here around the top of this cap. We're going to replace that with this new O ring. And we're going to look and see how to take this. Uh, this little carriage apart that's holding that, that element because that's going to be reused. You want to make sure that goes down in the groove. And there it is. Wouldn't hurt to wash this out with some kind of solvent. We don't have anything right now, so we're just going to kind of wipe it out a little bit. pops out. This middle part just pops out of there like that. This is what you're going to replace. We've got a little tiny o-ring right here on the very top. We're going to pop that off. All right, here's your new O-ring. There it was, there it is on the ground again. There's the new O-ring. You're gonna try to keep all this as clean as you can but when you're working on the ground, it's kinda hard to do. You're just gonna have to do the best you can. There we go, that goes in there like that. Okay. We're going to take this, we're going to let that drain out just a little bit and we'll pop it back in there.
Yes, it's uh, according to the um, the on dash display in there. This thing has 7,000 miles left before it's due for an oil change. But uh, we don't know how accurate that is because we're not really sure if somebody just reset it, if the oil was actually changed, or if they actually uh, changed the oil and then reset it, or, or exactly what's going on. So uh, we want to make sure that it's got nice clean oil in it. And so we, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the oil and then reset it and we'll, we'll have a benchmark a place to start from. So we're going to go ahead and put this in now. And here it snapped into place. And we're going to screw this right back in. You just want to screw that in. You probably have to use your wrench, but you just want to screw it until you feel it stop turning. And then don't get crazy with it. Don't tighten it up real tight. But you want to make sure that it's all the way down on there firm. Now we're going to put this back in, this little induction tube. And pop it up into there. Pop it into the bottom. Right back in place like that. Okay, then we have our oil drained down. You want to make sure you have the copper gasket on your plug. Right there. And we're going to screw that back in. Recommended for these vehicles is Mobile One, full synthetic oil. This is turbo diesel truck oil. That's what you want to use. And um, you want to, in your owner's manual, you'll find a chart that tells you what weight of oil to use for the temperature range you're going to be operating in. So here in our temperatures, 5W40 is just fine. So that's what we have. Calls for 13 and a half quarts. Most of these uh, containers like this have five quarts in them. The turbo diesel oil only has four. So we have three containers, a total of 12 quarts. We're going to be a quart and a half short starting out. But they didn't have it in quarts. So. Okay. Here we have DEF diesel exhaust hood. It's uh, water in urea is what it is. And we're going to put this little nozzle on here. Now, you want to make sure you're putting this in the right place. This is labeled DEF. It has a thing here that shows you no fuel. Don't put fuel in there. Check your manual. And this is the emblem. This is the emblem that you see on your uh, your uh, dash when you go to start it, or if it gets too low. This this is the emblem that lights up. This is the ISO number 22241-1. You want to make sure that the fluid you buy complies with that. And we're going to poke our little nozzle in here and put this stuff in. I don't know how much it's going to take, how low it is, or any of that. I'm just kind of going to go easy with it. I 
think it's full already. Yes. Do the old finger test. Finger's too fat. I can see it in there. So it's full all the way up in the hose. The tank is back underneath the uh, the van on the side there. So now we know for sure that it's completely full, and that's what we wanted to make sure of. You're going to want to check this diesel exhaust fluid anytime the symbol pops up on your dash, or at every oil change, 10,000 miles. And uh, just check your manual, look, look in your, your owner's guide, all the information you need is in there, and if you can't find it in there, uh, go online and look it up on Mercedes website. All that information is out there. And now we're going to reset our uh, mileage for our oil change interval. We're going to turn the key on and uh, wait for everything to quit blinking and beeping. We're going to push in and hold the O button. And uh, wait for it to beep. Wait for the beep. There's our beep. Now we're going to push the M button and we're going to fan our way through here until we get to the maintenance right there and then we're going to push and hold the O button again and when you see this 2 pop up you're going to press it one more time and it's going to say done and that should take care of it all right, now we are going to work on changing some of our filters. We are changing the air filter on this uh, Mercedes 3.0. You can look under here, it doesn't look like anything's been uh, fixed up a lot. So uh, we're going to change the air filter. We just got all the screws loose. Got the uh, induction tube off here. For, and uh, we're ready to pull the old filter out. Okay, so we got it all loose. We're gonna pop this off. Here's our old filter. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, it's pretty dirty. So, we're going to take a damp cloth. In this case, we have some paper towels here handy. We're just going to wipe all this major dust out of here. As air comes in over here, it's going to swirl around under here and get all up in there. We'll just clean all this out. Okay, we've got the uh, the uh, air filter canister here cleaned out. We're going to put this new filter in. We're going to make sure it goes down in all the way or these won't go back together right. It's not going together right right now.
Now it's in the flat. Okay. The tabs in the back go in the slots. Back where it was. Like that. Our air tube back on. Got all of our screws tightened up. You want to be careful not to over tighten these. A couple of these have been over tightened in the past. They don't hold well when they're over tightened. There we go. Alright, there's a the cabin air filter. Air comes through these little grills on the hood, either side, travels through this metal channel, goes down in here. This is where your fresh air is coming inside. We're going to change this filter. This is a uh, charcoal impregnated uh, super duper filter, but it's not sealed up inside the hole right and really isn't working. So we're going to put this one. And should that be changed? Uh, whenever it looks dirty, every 10,000 miles with your oil change, 20,000 mm -hmm. miles, 10,000. And what about this filter over here? Often, up, should that be changed? Uh, that should be changed at your uh, oil change interval. So every time you get an oil change. Yeah, and it also has a uh, an indicator on it. You know, where it tells you when it's time to do it. So on some of them, I don't know if we actually have that or not. And we're going to finish up with washing the motor off, making sure not to get any water into the cabin air filter area. But it looked like the engine hadn't been cleaned off ever, so it's nice to give it all a fresh start along with its fluids and filters and ready for its road trips.